Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, your boy DJ <laughs> Afif. <laughs> ah, we're and back me, with DJ Fikri again. We're back with the traditional intros. Yes, for another episode for an, uh, of Mom's Basement. So yes. today is kind of chill. It's just me and Afif. Yes, the, the usual. The, the usual. Yeah, your too. usual greatest duo. Yeah, oh, greatest. Oh, that's that's a high claim. But so, so, so <laughs> for today's episode, we're going to go just a bit more serious on yes. as we as mentioned in our. Uh, what do you call in our um, promotion? Did which we, no, I didn't mention anything. But we were going to be our headline topic of yes. the day for Mom's Basement episode three is Blizzard incoming. incoming. So as you would know, um, as you would and of also wouldn't know, we will be talk touching about the sensitive discussion of um a, a recurring the hashtag uh boycott, uh, boycott Blizzard. Blizzard. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Before so, we jump into the headline discussion, so we're gonna, you know, that's our first, the, the, that's our, uh, our first uh, segment will be mm-hmm. Net News. So Net News, where we talk about all the stuff, news, uh, from any any part of the pop culture world. But well, today we'll be discussing a few things in regards, firstly, Fortnite Season 2. That will be interesting to talk about. Yes. Mm, it's where not Fortnite Season 2. Is it chapter not? 2. It's Chapter 2. Season, season 1. Season 1. So that's, that would be kind of interesting. Yeah, because, but even though we've always slammed Fortnite, there's always another marketing gimmick in the yeah. game. So well, se- second, uh, me and Afif also did look into, we'll be talking about a bit sooner, is about the new, finally, the uh, the final release of the Pixel 4 device. It's Oof. been leaked for like over a few months now. People already know how it looks like. But when it finally come out, does it meet our expectations? Mm. We'll talk about it later, Afif. What's next on our agenda of the news, Afif? Uh, it's, uh, we're going to talk about uh, our uh, a new anticipated movie by Marvel and Sony. Is there another uh, one? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, 2020 oh. I mean, it's, uh, it's some leaked news. Ah, uh, we will talk all about uh, that. It's and last one. Two. Uh, oh. Shit, shit. Oh, 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 no spoilers. Shit, shit. But before that, and la- um, the last two one will be talking about Google Stadia. The one, the very um, generally um, mixed reviewed uh, new gaming uh, gaming console where brought to you by Google. Where they're going to discuss about uh, their first unveilment of their new uh, system coming in 2020. That will be interesting news about that. And last but not least, we're going to talk about both Keanu Reeves oh, wow. <laughs> okay. and also we got different um, news <laughs> yeah and, oh we have different news oh we got really different <laughs> last news yeah so we have, well, we're going to talk about Keanu Reeves and also um, Neil Patrick Harris you know what uh, those two put together we'll talk about it later Avi yes. last, uh, do you have something on you uh, I got another game uh, another game game enthusiast League of Legends oh it's yeah it's about a new game of is it going still League of Legends? But the the mobile game, isn't it? Yes, the mobile game. So we'll game. talk about it more in the next episode. So we'll go into a really short break because yes. it's going to be Isha very soon. So yeah. y'all uh, get ready on the pre mats as, <laughs> as you all should be. And uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Just right. me, DJ Hazard. And DJ Afif. Talk to you in See a bit. You later. Yeah. Welcome back, guys, with DJ Afif and... DJ Hazard. Four. Four. Mom's our first basement. segment, <laughs> uh, for mom's basement. Mom's basement, the first segment. segment. Nerd news. Nerd so, news. After, um, let's to start off with something very, very interesting. Very Fortnite dumb. is over. No more Fortnite. No more nine-year-olds. No more kids playing. No more kids flossing. No more. So everything's all over. Thank you very much, Elon Musk. No more Fortnite, but Fortnite Chapter Two is here. Wait, season one. Really? Yes. I thought. I thought like he didn't he buy Fortnite and just deleted it. Oh. They did, but I bought it back. <laughs> oh, it was you. Ah, just joking. So it was ve- it was uh, it was a week ago, November thirteenth. Yes. Um, uh, players of Fortnite were having a bit of a chaos. Chaos, a bit. I don't know, probably because uh, someone already probably knew. Probably someone then had a mental breakdown. Because um, for some reason, it was a marketing gimmick. The Epic Games yeah. made all Fortnite games turn into a black hole. Yeah. people can't play I mean, the game. They, some some people saw the live like, live event of that black hole. It's just like their character showing there's something behind there, mm-hmm. and. And then everything just got sucked in. Even uh, the even the interface. Ah, uh, like, that, that's saw, really cool. Because people couldn't get into their game. It yeah. was just a black hole. Just a, a photo, a, a screen photo of the black hole. People were calling in to get their refunds, getting their Xbox fixed, no, their PS 4s fixed. Yeah. Everyone thought the game was over. So they now get you deleted. know. So now but, you know what's the end of the countdown on the rocket. So it was they they had a live stream. Uh, Fortnite, uh, Epic Games had their live stream, and they were trying. They to announce. Uh, to announce their big coming of the 
second chapter of Fortnite and there and it was generally called at um there was a massive asteroid that brought yeah. the later season to an end and uh the bat the infamous battle royale game um uh, had a tweet uh, on uh, was live on twitter and almost over 30,000 33,000 likes and it got deleted and the, even the live stream itself got deleted and was kind of mm. mysterious in a way yes and then and then uh they released the trailer last night around 7 p.m. Malaysian time. Mm-hmm. I was there. I, 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 I was like scrolling. You were there in Fortnite? No, no. no. I was, uh, I was, uh, I opened my Instagram and then the first thing that came uh, up was Fortnite the, and they revealed the trailer and funnily, it looks so good. Uh, I mean, you like, had to say I, it. You had I was, to say I'm, it. I'm just, uh, uh, no, uh, well, jokes aside, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm all for Fortnite just now. Oh, I just need, right. I need some powerful computer to play it. Sponsor, uh. sponsor, sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh mom, if you're hearing this, I need a new laptop. Yeah, she, uh, <laughs> even if she does, she wouldn't buy it. Ah, okay. man. So what, also, what changes is brought yes, through in two, what chapter change, two? The, the biggest change all in Fortnite is the map. They just changed it instead of uh, updating the map, like all the seasons, mm. uh, a meteor strike turn into one map into a like a, what do you call that a, a, de- a debris oh, or debris everywhere no. but now they changed the whole map entirely and a new more new features are coming in mm-hmm. and some uh, water it, it, uh, water is be a big factor around the yeah, around the new map because I remember like generally people didn't use the water water area inside be, the yeah, Fortnite map because, because it was because very slow and light if you jump into water back then in, in Fortnite chapter 1 shit I, I can call Fortnite chapter 1 now oh, it's like it's like quoting from, <laughs> it's like quoting it. from Shakespeare it's like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so back then in Fort, Fortnite chapter, chapter 1 uh, if you jump on, into the water you'll just walk very slowly and, yeah. then, and basically if you jump into the water you'll die mm-hmm. that, that's the end yeah it was like a swash uh, pit yes but now the new update's coming and you can swim oh Ooh. That's the thing. They finally I, I did don't know, what Pokemon I don't know if you can, can dive, do. but yeah. Uh, so <laughs> basically, they they heard from the community. Uh-huh. We wanted to swim, so they mm-hmm. gave us swimming. Ah, uh, I see. That was that's an interesting yes. update. So will there be more uh, areas that are focused on um what the bit? Uh, would you uh, would you able to dive? Um, I would well, like to know that. Uh, di- about diving, I don't know. I just I uh, in the trailer you can see the some new, uh, for uh, some players who were like racing. Mm-hmm. It's like a full on Olympic swimming right there. Uh, <laughs> that was interesting. Uh-huh. And I saw like uh, they give us a a big uh view of the map. They mm-hmm. they just show us the whole view of the map. And there are quite a lot of uh, water areas and also a lot of pond where this new feature yeah, yeah. Pond Pond, yeah, make pond. sure yeah. <laughs> yeah, What's in there? And, uh, what's in there are weapons Ooh. And oh, yeah, if you pretty... find that this, new me- uh, this new game mechanics which mm-hmm. is f- you can fish Oh, yes. I did not know But that. you have to find a fishing pool mm-hmm. uh, that, and the, those, uh, those pool <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> will pro uh, will uh they will contain uh weapons, ammos, or you know some useless stuff, items uh, maybe shield. Because but sometimes you can you, you won't fish anything. Uh, the un- luck. Another more updates on the game because there will be upgradable weapons added mm. to s- yes, chapter upgradable two. Upgradable weapons. Mm. And also uh, uh uh besides that uh you can now carry your teammates. I mean not uh. like carry the game but uh-huh. you can actually carry them to save them uh, I, I've, I've been used to carrying teammates in the game yeah I can carry him in the game ah uh, no game. no <laughs> I even carry you in Minecraft oh, don't forget oh, that <laughs> don't you dare that's a, that's, that's a lie and a de- defamation that's like body language uh, so and, that, yeah. uh, and another another big update is that uh, I think this is the, the last update I'm mm-hmm. going to tell is that uh, before be- after you can carry mm-hmm. you there is also one more ways to save your teammates in oh. That yeah. is using a bandage bazooka. So oh, basically, you, you using using a gun, uh, uh to heal. item uh, to heal, <laughs> uh, not to kill. To yeah, heal. And that, is it like uh, it works kind of like uh, support characters in, yes, for example, you can, you can, you can Overwatch. Yeah. Overwatch. Or the or the or the the poor guy. Oh, the the poor <laughs> man's <laughs> Overwatch. So that was all about a Fortnite yes. season two. And I wish I wish uh, Elon Musk did what he should have done <laughs> and eliminated the game. No. But we are blessed with a new season. Well, sir, for many Fortnite players, it seems like a new chapter begins for you. Yeah. So I'd like to bring up Pixel Four. Afif, do you know anything about the Pixel Four? Because I think everyone does. Yeah. Because it's been leaked all month. <laughs> everyone already right. knew how the Pixel 4 looks like, how the design is going to be, all the spec sheets and it was true to form no surprises from Google. They even leaked them themselves through their <laughs> Google uh, made by Google oh, account, made by Google account where they even leaked 
and they accidentally <coughs> lend their own products to the pro- to the public. This so, marketing at its best. Yeah, so generally <laughs> it does look like an iPhone 11. <laughs> yeah, it does. It has oh, wow. it shares the the box cut out for the camera uh, as their exterior design from the back. It isn't a glass back anymore, similar to, uh, not similar to the previous iPhone X. It is now has a matte finish, a, a matte a finish, matte finish on finish. a, a matte finish on a glass, uh, oh, glass okay. back, uh, glass back of the phone, which is kind of interesting. But what people say about the uh, the current uh, first impressions of the device, even though uh, it has a 90, 90 hertz refresh rate, which is E- excellent it generally looks like a gaming laptop and also it shares the <laughs> similar features to how the oneplus oneplus 7 pro looks like and yeah, google is uh, having the apple kind of um, marketing ma- uh, marketing decision where they kept on kept the bezel they uh, they didn't kept keep a notch but they kept a huge bezel which they want to introduce uh, introduce um, a lot of new features regarding to facial recognition and also their highly promoted radar usage inside the phone where it can or it can scan and also check for motion movement where you can use gestures by not touching your phone oh yeah i've seen that feature uh, so it was all about it like- yeah in the google and uh, it was just, it was similar to the uh, not the lenovo the, the, the lg the lg, LG. gx oh. uh, g uh, g8 i'm not if i'm not mistaken also has the same features as just the mode where you can hold up your phone and also use your hands I mean, like, from a distance w- to control would you use that in public though i wouldn't but you, the thing, you will, yeah, I, I had someone on twitter that's like i would look like a make me too uh, yeah like, but oh, no oh. you go you go all scarlet witch on on the lap on the phone and just go <laughs> left and right but the thing is how is it a gimmick though is it usable uh, and unless you're like lying down in the, uh, yeah if you're that like, if you're that much of a lazy uh, of a lazy <laughs> person to do so but uh but the thing is um because of the dysfunctionality of it you uh, one important thing about these gestures is how do people want to use it because most um, first impressions uh, we looked up uh, from online also says that it if it doesn't work straight off the back, it's going to be a burdensome because generally people would like to use the most effective tool of using your device. So I think it's a good uh, innovation. They stuck with their guns, keeping the huge bezel. They had a very nice uh, metal out in exterior, very oh. looking like the old iPhone 10, which is uh, which is all good. And they kept their all a uh, traditional color scheme, uh, which they have three different colors. Uh, the red, blue, tri- and red. Uh, oh no. Oh no, they didn't. Since when did they have a black phone? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, that's another phone. <laughs> oh, that's another phone. So they kept their white and black variants, and also they yeah, had another had ad- accent right, color. Black. Uh, you got one right. <laughs> so and and for and for the release of the Pixel Four, they have a nice bouncy yellow, uh, orange. I mean, which is very nice looking in a way. But uh, I still, in in some re- re- uh, respects, kind of not dig. Um, the phone in general, but it, that's just up to me. But people love the new, uh, the updated. As we all know <coughs> about Google's cameras, they're always top of the line, mm-hmm. and of of course, is leading the charge. People are competing for cameras now. Even though it's a phone, it's kind of funny that people. Are, I, I I find it kind of interesting I, that phones yeah. are generally an extended camera. It's just a camera you can buy, about. What you bring about. about. Bring 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 uh, about everywhere. Uh, uh, so I, I'm, you looking just for, I'm, in lo- an, I'm looking an for. I'm looking for. in there. You stay my number just now, right? Oh, did I? We're even. <laughs> okay, we're even. We're counting. So <laughs> that's all about the Pixel Four. Yes. Afif, what's next? Talking about, uh, we're going to talk about some movies, mm. uh, not not the latest movie, but mm-hmm. we're going to talk about upcoming movie. Mm-hmm. It's about Venom Two. Ah. Uh, so Venom. Uh, uh, also they tease. I don't know if uh, Tom Hardy did it on purpose or accidentally, but he posted some. Uh, I can't remember what he posted, but it was uh something about. Uh, it was uh, gonna be like uh, Spider-Man Two, uh, Spider-Man Two, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2. Tom Ho- Tom Holland Spider-Man is gonna be in Venom Two, so it's gonna be interesting. I hope mm. that they, w- I hope I hope dear God, <laughs> please mm. let Spider-Man be in Venom Two. But the the high the, the, the this news is not about uh, Spider-Man, mm-hmm. but it's gonna be about another villain that's gonna be in Spider-Man. Ooh, not Venom. Yeah, Venom is not a villain. Uh, oh, in, is he in, not? in in Venom, in Venom, is, he's not a villain. Oh, uh, okay. What was gonna happen between Venom and Spider-Man? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Probably they're gonna uh, they're gonna team up and defeat one of the villain, which is Carnage. So if you if you remember in the end credit scenes, last uh, last Venom movie, mm-hmm. gonna, it is a, they shown Venom meeting Cletus Cassidy. Who's that? He is Carnage. Mm-hmm. He's he's a mad. 
uh, he's a psycho killer who kills everyone. Mm-hmm. Psycho killer psycho who kills kill, everyone, kills of course. Everyone. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if uh, when Venom, not Venom, when one of the symbiotes, mm-hmm. uh, Carnage, we call that that symbiote Carnage, uh, goes into him, it just increases his madness, mm-hmm. and he just goes on full rage and kills more people. Uh, does so it that, work? That's, that's Carnage, lah. Does it work like uh, how the Venom, the Venom? <coughs> The Venom thing in the origin, the the first the first adaptation of Spider Man, or like yeah. the the Venom the Venom alien thing where they ah, come just, the, just super the symbiote. yeah the which what the, the symbiote Spider Man yeah. like Tobey Maguire yeah the Maguire one ah, yeah, yeah. The, does it work like that kind of Venom ah uh, yeah it was ah, like that I see but Venom has more control like you can uh if because Eddie Brock is uh someone who can uh have full uh what bond oh, like a bond. perfect bond with uh the Venom a uh, Venom the Venom itself. Uh, so he he can still control it, uh, mm. but in this venom lah. But uh, in this venom, he because they have two, they have one mission. Uh, basically, all venom has one mission, which is they hate Spider Man. What well, have one object, not objective, but they have one feeling, which is they hate they hate Spider Man. but uh, but because because there's no Spider Man in this, mm. uh, their their objective is different. They probably wanted. They uh, they're left with a uh, feeling with this. They they're both unwa- unwanted. Unwanted. Mm-hmm. They both left out by people, so they understand how uh, lonely someone can be. Ah, so I that's see. that's uh, the gist of like what previous Venom movie. Uh-huh. So the next one is gonna be Venom Two. Is gonna be uh, probably Venom vs Carnage. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure who uh, who uh, what uh, what was sorry like gonna be like, but Andy Serkis has brought uh, brought to direct that movie. To direct. Uh, to direct. Act. No no no. Tom Hardy is gonna act. Ah, uh, I, I didn't know Andy Serkis do any pub, uh, what, uh, f- um, what do you call directing. Uh, uh, but he, I can't remember Andy Serkis. He had uh, one, uh, one movie. Uh, what uh, acting, uh, acting or directing work that interest uh, that uh, is related to this superhero movie. He can uh, bring it. Some uh, I hope lah. I see. <coughs> but the 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 only the villain, the other vil- villain is uh, Carnage. Carnage's. In the comic, Car- is a, a Carnage's wife, ah. which is Shriek. If you remember in Shriek. in the one of the scenes in Venom, mm. they had a cameo. She, she had a cameo, which is uh, one of the girl who was just screaming, mm-hmm. uh, and then the symbiote. Uh, you know when the, they tested uh, tested the symbiote on everyone. Uh-huh. There was one lady in the, uh, in, the in in the in the like in the lab that uh, thought the uh, Tom Hardy was. Uh, interacted with her, but she just screamed. So that's not to shriek. So we we thought it was just a cameo, but apparently may- maybe she will be in the next movie. So uh yeah, um, there's no like set release photos date? or something. Is huh? there a release date on Venom Two? Mm, uh, October Two, Twenty Twenty. So oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a yeah. full year from yeah. now. Today is the October fifteenth, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's October sixteenth. Yeah. So it's gonna be like uh, less than one year from less now. Less than a year from now. So, so unless, unless they just extend it, like, uh, who uh, knows? Yeah. So, uh, so I am generally excited for the movie. Yeah. Um, probably have to watch it with Afif <laughs> for the sake of the show. Uh, but but that's the thing we want to talk about in the future. Yeah. So before we do, uh, I like to, sh- um, Afif, have you heard about Stadia? So, yeah, it's a gaming. Console. console yeah, by Google, right? Yes. Yeah. So the Stadia system has been announced in the previous uh, Google announcement before they announced the Google phone. It's kind of a while back, a month ago. Well, they mentioned, um, confirmed to, um, with, um, of, uh, we got this from source from The Verge, The Verge uh, newspaper, uh, that Stadia will continue to support in conjunction with. Uh, the Pixel 4 release, so you can actually play Google Stadia through your Pixel 4. Yep. It's going to be very interesting because um, Google has been trying to promote this uh, cross, uh, cross, cross platform. cross platform gaming using uh, using their using their new Google Stadia system. But in a way, <laughs> what's <laughs> what oh, what was highlighted is that because um, not only that your Pixel 4 can be can be add because it will be not uh, it will be modular according mm-hmm. to the device you have both on your switch also on uh, also on your mobile phone mm-hmm. also your home mobile or any your PC. home phone like that <laughs> no I mean your your home, your home uh, PC that can be rigged into the Google Stadia uh, Google Stadia system Ooh. so it works just like Netflix it's not that hard you have to pay a monthly subscription to 
to access premium to a tier of service of Google Stadia. Oh, it's like PS4. Yeah, yeah it, uh, it generally I mean, is like it's PS4. Everyone, if everyone's a premium account. Mm, so, uh, so you only for nine, ten dollars a month. Can, can I like pay subscription and then get the console? <laughs> oh, the console comes comes uh, separately. Uh, it actually does. Uh, not not <laughs> separately, but you have to buy the console first, <laughs> and then you can use it cross platform of it. So <laughs> because because the pricing of the games are uh, because the pricing of the current games that will be released in in uh on sorry on Stadia is not announced yet, but there are a lot of very interesting lineup of games that will be released on a platform. Oh. So the I'll just I'll just shout out a few I'll just shout out a few games that will be definite in t- next year's release uh, next year's update. Uh, regarding Google Stadia games, so Dark Souls three. Sorry. Oh, Dark Souls four. What yeah, games release? Ah uh, yeah. So the, um, of course the this is kind of a staple game, but um, there will be the Dragon Ball Xenoverse two. I think it's kind of interesting. I w- I never played the Xenoverse uh, game before. Have you? Ah uh, yeah. Ah, uh, I didn't play Xenoverse. I think I played Xenoverse one. Ah, uh, but we'll be looking into that probably next year. Um, in uh, the the highly anticipated Cyberpunk two o seven. Uh, 2077 uh, is it gonna be released or just no it will be on stadia, on stadia next year uh, so um doom eternal which will be delayed mm. till march of next year um of course um uh, elder scrolls online all by Beth- bethesda and mm, bethesda bethesda what well, huh? bethesda. Bethesda. bethesda i can't say it right uh, <laughs> uh there will be well there's going to be Mortal Kombat 11 oh. from Warner Brothers All right. on, on the on the next release. Um, everyone knows about um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey will be there as well. Dance Dance Revolution indefinitely. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion, and also Trials. I I know the game Trials. Have you played the game Trials? Trials. Yeah, yeah Trials. Um, this is like the oh, second the reinstate. <laughs> uh, no, the 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 motorcycle game. Oh, the yeah, one that yeah. they go up ramps and stuff and crash into the gl- ground. So that is all the games we'll be releasing. Before we get into the final um, final part of our nerd news segment, Afif, do you know what does uh, what does Neil Patrick Harris and um, and who do you call and Keanu, uh, Reeves. Keanu Reeves have in common? How to make your mo- how I met your mother? No. How I met no. your father? No. No, I know. <laughs> I, I like to hear Keanu Reeves with my father though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would as well. Uh, but. Do you know what what do they have in common? Uh, um, Other than Matrix. those two bad guesses, I, I'm gonna say John Wick, but you know Matrix works. Uh, it's not it's not John Wick. You were close. Is Both Matrix? of them will be on Matrix Four next year. Yes, they would. Um, so um, because uh, of course everyone know Neo uh, <laughs> that Keanu Reeves will be Neo, but in this uh, in the new in the announcement, uh, Warner Bros have confirmed as oh, as no. as turning uh, as uh, Keanu Reeves will return. And, and turning the world of Neo uh, and the human resistance back on in the Matrix 4. Resistance. Um, um, apparently, uh, the film people say, uh, people are just ask, uh, uh, what do you call, um, hypothesizing on what will the plot be about. People Ooh. say it's going to be another reboot, a reboot of the Matrix franchise because uh, the, the, uh, the Matrix is... It, uh, the Matrix is a trilogy. If you did not know uh, this, it it should be a trilogy. I mean, it could, could, could be a quadrilogy. Quadrilogy is that a word? Quadrilogy is it even a word? <laughs> but um, but rather it actually is uh, a new adventure, which is in uh, continuum. Rumors even have it uh, has it that the film will involve a story about young Morpheus. Who's uh, Neil Patrick Harris going to be? No, he's he's not going to be Morpheus. Who's, who's Morpheus again? I know, I'm the, yeah, but the story I, I will. Forgot about uh, Matrix D. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but this is a very old show back in two thousand and three. Uh, yeah. So and it and his adventures in like reliving how he actually went into the Matrix rabbit hole. Oh. Uh, so this well, uh, this movie is written uh, by Zach Penn, um, uh, uh, Zach Penn, yes, and wait, sorry, Zach Penn or Zach Penn, yes. Uh no, <laughs> uh, Penn because uh wait, where's this? Where's this? Wait, sorry. Mm. Oh, or also where, oh, where, <laughs> where not a new Patrick Harris will also be at, with, is the latest addition, uh, latest addition to the assemble of cast for the upcoming fourth edition of the franchise. He will join Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, as well as Yahya Abdul Mateen II, oh. who will be tapped as is the young Morpheus. People were rumor, uh, oh. rumoring, uh, ru- uh, ha- having rumors about um, uh, who, who was the. 
Uh, Mike, Michael B. Jordan as the young Morpheus. That was pe- uh, people's first guess when they announced the movie. Mm. But it wasn't to be. And um, it was confirmed that... Uh, but it was not confirmed what uh, Harris's role in the movie will oh, be. Either will but it be it, an antagonist. It was confirmed he is in the... He is in the movie, but, but, no, uh, but my, Most likely, I think he will be the antagonist. Yeah, but I, I don't know who is going to be an antagonist in this new... Because in, in, the, in, the, in the news, they only mentioned the protagonist, man. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, true. So, <laughs> I um, already guessed. So, Warner Brothers announced in August that the fourth movie will, uh, is now officially in works and with, uh, with Reeves and also Moss returning as uh, and Lena Wachowski on board to write and also direct. Interesting. So, uh, the three previous films, The Matrix, The Matrix Reloaded, and Revolution, the original trilogy, has collectively earned about $1.6 in the global box office. Mm. So, we're going to see how this fourth movie will fare amongst the very popular uh, trilogy of Matrix films. I don't know where he's going to fit in the whole universe, but an older Keanu Reeves uh, probably would bring give, uh, give Neo uh, probably a time skip in the Matrix universe. That's gonna, my best case. It's probably not going to be like, I'm, I'm not Neo. I'm John Wick. Uh, oh, <laughs> you can make like a cross movie yeah, where they put John Wick in the Matrix. You never know sometimes. So that's all, that's all for from nerd our news nerd news for the whole week. So we're going to take a break until we continue with our second segment which is Deep Dive. Deep Dive. Which we're going to talk about our <laughs> headline discussion. Blizzard incoming. It's me, DJ Azad. And DJ Afif. See you in a while. <laughs> okay, we're, okay, we're back to Mom's basement. Yeah, we finally we just, we got. We just take a toilet break. It's now. Yeah. Went up, up, uh, upstairs, and then came back to our mom's basement. Yeah. Right, it's me, DJ Afif. DJ Ah, uh, we're back to our, for our second segment of the day. Yeah, we'll, of, of the, the night. night. So we're going to talk about our <coughs> headline discussion. It's gonna be a, just a bit, just a bit. Uh, what do you call? Uh, bit more serious, but yeah. it is very relevant to what happened most in the news this past week. Yes. Afif. Have you been aware of the hashtag Boycott Blizzard? Yeah, I <clears throat> I was searching something. I was searching uh, for Fikri is me. Uh, and then I saw the Blizzard. <laughs> I oh, was joking. <laughs> All right, I I remember so, so uh, seeing the Boycott Blizzard hashtag on Twitter. It mm-hmm. was quite. It was what top uh, top five, right? Yes. Yeah. For the past five. week, really. For the past past week, not now though. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so um, apparently. There was a case happened uh, 15th October. Uh, October during the recent Hearthstone gaming his Hearthstone game Hearthstone competition. I, I can't remember what the competition name. Probably uh, Champions League or something. It was the <clears throat> it was uh, it was the regional championships for the Asian uh, Asian area. Yes. In the 9th of October. Where was last week? It was in. It was, uh, it, was uh, it was an online. It was an online. Oh, it was event. an online competition. Yeah. Oh yeah, all right. Come so uh, this uh, Blizzard, who was the o- developer of Diablo, World of Warcraft, and also the main game Hearthstone, mm-hmm. had a com- competition, uh, on- online competition. So it has faced uh, the boy. Basically, the hashtag boycott Blizzard was about a backlash, uh, f- since they removed the pro player Chung Blitz Chung. Uh, Chung Ng Wai, which uh, with uh, his username Blitz Chung, uh, mm-hmm. in the Hearthstone game, uh, his ban was uh, he was banned for oh that. Ten- uh, he uh, he uh, okay. So uh, basically, what happened was, uh, should I tell about the protest or the no the, the the ban first? Oh, uh, the ban first. So, uh, during his win, he won the Asia Pacific Grandmasters um, on October 6th. He, uh, using uh, the, the, the competition, was also included uh, of, uh, of uh, what? Uh, face cam. Mm-hmm. So, they can see two players uh, playing the any while announcing the competition. Uh, it, uh, the, when the presenter mm-hmm. announced the winner, Blitzstrung, uh, he was wearing a gas mask. He uh, in the face he was wearing a gas mask and then he said something uh, during the <coughs> uh, during the award he, he when he when he won and he said something a phrase used by Hong Kong protesters which is liberate Hong Kong revolution of our age. Mm-hmm. So two days later, Blizzard said that Brit Strong has violated the competition's official rule, and and that has removed his one his winning title. 
for the Grand Masters tournament, and also he was banned for twelve months on other events. And plus, on that, his uh, all his game <coughs> winnings were taken uh, taken back uh, by uh, taken back by uh, Blizzard as well. Yes, and uh, when after that, the Blizzard came out with a statement <coughs> saying. Uh, while we stand by one's right to express express individual thoughts and opinions, plays and other participants that elect to participate in our esports competitions must abide by the official competition rules. That statement was one of the statement that Blizzard released, which is in English. Mm. But the company made uh, you, uh, as Chinese was using uh, an, uh, their own social media, which is Weibo. Weibo. W e i b o. Weibo. Uh, they uh, they released a statement which is in Chinese, but the translation was uh, was shown that they used a harsher tone. Uh, the translation was. We express our strong indignation, 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 or sentiment and condemnation of the events that occurred in the Hearthstone Asia Pacific competition last weekend, and absolutely oppose the dissemination of personal political ideas during any events or games. The players involved will be banned, uh, and the commentators involved will be immediately terminated from any official business. Which means that. Uh, Blitz Chong and also the two presenters who heard the uh, protest during, uh, the, live stream. The, the, uh, during the live stream was also banned from and uh, the two presenters was fired but the last line was what made the boycott blizzard hashtag came out it was they said also will protect or safeguard our national dignity or honor so this shows that in a way that, in a way that uh, they uh, the blizzard Entertainment, which was also uh, has, uh, has uh, a share, forty percent share, forty uh, percent share from China, mm-hmm. uh, China company, Chinese company, uh, Chinese company, sorry, Chinese company, uh, was uh, telling the, uh, me- the media that they are siding with, uh, and su- suddenly movement. they are a pro Chinese, uh, what supporter, uh, no, Move, movement, uh, movement, movement. So generally, in this, in this, uh, in this sense, um, uh, in the sense, this. Um, <coughs> The, uh, this uh, statement was really uh, 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 generally uh, to the general to the general public was something very very serious because um, as as per as per the the, the banning of uh, Blitz Chung, it was a, a clear statement that uh, how um, uh, Blizz Entertainment were treating this uh, treating the any any mention of freedom of speech during the during the live stream event. So because uh, because of the last part of the public statement, it clearly shows and uh, their. Uh, clearly shows their allegiance in this conflict, which mm-hmm. is in a way unprofessional in a public yes. reading. So, um, the main uh, so the after days of silence, the Blizzard president J. Allen Black released a statement in October 11th regarding the Blitz incident, and he state uh, stated that in regards to China, they had no influence on their decision. Many people quite uh, many people on the internet and also uh, many news outlets uh, point out that that was uh, that was a very blanket statement in which uh, in which they are they are they are. They are <coughs> Press release and also their actions towards Blizz Chung regarding this issue was really pro Chinese government, which is which is really uh, sparks the uh, sparks the the what do you call the Fight, uh, the the hashtag uh, online uh, uh, the the, the uh, regarding the uh, regarding uh, gaming industries uh, gaming gaming pla- uh, what do you call gaming Community. communities that uh, that su- that generally support uh, generally show their support uh, in blocking. Free speech in gaming entertainment. So generally, ladies and gentlemen, um, from that from that incident a few days after, uh, the his ban, um, uh, Chung's ban was reduced from six months to twelve, and he received and back all his winnings. Uh, he was reduced to six months from twelve. Uh, from twelve, sorry. And then he he was uh, and his winnings from the recent tournament was returned to him. And the cast cast uh, the casters who were uh, conducted during the post game also re- not not they were reinstated but also gave given a six month ban. After Blizzard uh, reconsidered the punishment, uh, Blitzchung had a statement on Twitter about how he felt about his punishment do, uh, because of his actions during the event. So he half heartedly generally still stands by his uh, by his by his notion by supporting his own freedom of speech in uh, supporting <coughs> Hong Kong as we as as stated that. Uh, Blitzchung himself is a Hong Kong player, uh, a Hong Kong re- uh, 
Hong Kong national who is, uh, who is avidly supporting the movement. So generally, he is grateful, uh, he mentioned in his statement, he is grateful for Blizzard for reconsidering their position on his ban. But many um, but people want to know if he would be continue competing in the uh, in uh, in Hearthstone professionally but it's up to him to decide in the future he does also state that he will be more careful in expressing uh, expressing his opinion and showing his support in Hong Kong protests in the future this echoes uh, what he uh, what he told to IGN on October 10th saying that he knew that saying something very publicly uh, in a way would give some sort of backlash so Afif Mm. In this sense, uh, in this sense, we have to be, uh, we have to uh, point out the obvious, uh, point out the obvious where if uh, there are gaming uh, in in professional tournaments, especially in the world of gaming, and also any uh, any uh, public platform, there is the guidelines and also the rules and regulations yes. in regarding it. So in a way, uh, even though the rules are um, uh, board, um, what do you call uh, not not indefinite of mentioning any political ideals or political statements, uh, in this sense, it is. Uh, kind of frustrating that people do not even highlight the fact that he did not apply to the rules of yes. uh, or the rules of the tournament. <coughs> uh, so um, that it, it it it's kind of a gray area when we discuss people. Uh, the the main consensus of all the replies and also what steams this uh, public movement is all about um, uh, what we call corporate companies blocking freedom of speech. But I would like to take. Uh, take into consideration of generally because because uh, any platform or any media platform is always a good platform uh, is always an open platform for you to discuss your opinions especially regarding to regarding to your very home nation yeah. so that was the action brought you uh, brought yeah. by Blitz to to the when he won the final of the game in a way it's very patriotic in in a sense, in a sense. but but we cannot uh, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, make uh, we cannot promote uh, promote uh, violation of rules during, or something in du- during uh, during uh, what do you call uh, during a public tournament. Yes. So there was mixed reactions, both uh, not mixed reaction generally in uh, the, the most of the time it's uh, yes uh, in regarding to this issue from the general public and also from other gaming com- uh, gaming developers also uh, is that uh, is that in both uh, both the public are calling out on this culture of. Uh, generally protecting your uh, protecting your money and mm. uh, protecting your what do you call your publicity in China uh, in the other side of the world so what's interesting here is the general consensus of the public is that you uh, these huge gaming companies uh, punish people who speak out on a, a current social issue by uh, by censoring uh, censoring uh, freedom of speech which I find kind of uh, kind of very le- um, if if you do not look into uh, the details of why the ban the ban has been lift, uh, has been given upon uh, players who do get banned is um, is something that was not uh, always skipped over whenever you read into a headline mm-hmm. of a uh, of a publication. But it's not to say that um, that uh, Blitz Chung uh, uh, Chung himself is hundred percent right. uh, wrong. Oh, wrong, right? Okay, uh, wrong in a way because. Not only that, because not only uh, Blizzard, uh, uh, in uh, the only company that are restrictive in their, in their, in their community or uh, in mm. their, in their community, and also the regarding of what can be regulated in, sp- in speaking in their medium, because not only that, many other companies are also being called out during this movement of uh, hashtag uh, boycott Blizzard, is that, um, the, there, there, oh, there are many movements within. Uh, within the gaming community, such as um, a website called Gamers for Freedom, went up. These, um, they, um, the majority of people who disagree with how the censorship system works in the world of gaming, um, uh, states states that it's outrageous to think that American companies would take away your money and your job because you want to uh, be only uh, only if you want to be free from oppression. In sympathetically, uh, in 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 sympathy, that does really make sense. And also, uh, and also on their site, they call uh, they're calling out all video game uh, developers and publishers to make public commitments to support a right of freedom of expression to their customers, employees, and fans around the world. Which in uh, which in in India as a movement is such a, uh, is a is a beautiful message yeah. to be brought, uh, brought across uh, brought across, but. Because because of that, many um, many uh, bodies within Blizzard uh, within Blizzard as well have uh, started to make the movement much more holistic. Because 
it, um, dozens of employers uh, this coming month and uh, this month have staged walk uh, walkout protests from the um, a riot and also uh, Blizzard uh, called uh, Activision as well and these the, the actions of Blizzard uh, and the, the employees also mentioned uh, the actions of Blizzard took against the players were pretty appalling but not surprising yeah. Blizzard makes a lot of money in China and but the company is in an awkward position where we can't but abide to our own values, values. Uh, so um, indefinitely, because because it be, uh, because people like to uh, uh, people are very uh, very uh, what do you call it? people are very quick to judge on uh, on why why um, why companies have uh, uh, what do you call it? protective uh, protective in the censorship ex- uh, when regards to freedom of speech is because Blizzard uh, as a company um, uh, uh, are are a part or uh, Activision's revenue come. For example, Call of Duty Mobile. Do you know about it? Yeah. Which is released very early. It's also catered or uh, downloaded with a uh, hundred million times within a week, and seeking approval from the Chinese government to release Call of Duty Mobile in their own country. Yeah. Because, because one thing that <coughs> we do not, uh, because one thing that people really love to point out is because Activision has a four point five percent, uh, four point nine percent stake. Uh, by a stake, uh, uh, yeah, by uh, by Tencent Company, which is a game developer in China, Tencent a Chinese. Is, uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, uh, yeah. So their partnership, uh, partnership is always very important to their mm. other side or the other side of the world, and that is why people are very skeptical about how they censor the uh, censor people speaking in within their own game community. Mm. So Afi, because because of that, they do take a few actions. Uh, in regards to this, uh, in regards to this backlash, uh, first of all, um, first of all, their timing isn't bad because they were they are re- rearing up to their biggest event, which is Blitz, uh, BlitzCon, okay. uh, BlitzCon, which is coming up November first. Oh, but yeah. because of this incident, the, the, many uh, many many independent groups are trying to start a protest, protest. on BlitzCon, which uh, which probably uh, for now yet to make any notable changes to their event. And they also pulled out out of the Nintendo Switch event in uh, October 16, also being cancelled, which is in a way, uh, in a way, kind of, uh, kind of interesting to hear because pulling out from a public event which is very close is somewhat uh, can be diminishing for their own brand. So, um, because of this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, why we like to highlight it because uh, not only not only Blizzard are in uh, are in hot waters in regards to censorship in video game communities many other uh, m- many other companies also are or are uh or how do you call are affected are affected are also affected by uh by the what do you call the, the hong kong protests in particular because not only that oh uh not only that um uh, their their own their own uh member of the Activision uh, de- development company uh, Mark Kern which is a big he is a big streamer as well mm-hmm. decided to pull the uh, take action because he himself uh, supports the movement of uh, the Hong Kong um, freedom mm-hmm. of Hong Kong oh, so what okay. sh- because the thing is um, if you um, because some people uh, because the general public believes that if you do not if you do not take a side in the, any conflict you are succumbing towards uh, succumbing towards the pressure of the Chinese market which I in a way uh, find it's um, it's um, it's a culture of um, uh, uh, choose a side or you shall be you shall be punished yeah, because yeah. because what is highlighted by Mark Kern uh, in his comments when he left uh, left Blizzard is that he do, uh, in in game developing he believes that he does not want it to become a platform where people be divided by rather become a place where people who oh, from yeah. all different uh, different uh, conditions countries, or countries conditions. have a place to uh, stay away from the uh, uh, from the um, po- problems Problem. and also politics of the world yes. it, it it is both uh, it is both a very complicated thing to talk yeah. about but uh, it's important to share yeah. what happened in objective uh, in objective fashion this is just of this is just some of the news that we were, you can you know find out more or something because it's still going on something. yeah it is yeah. because um not only not only um uh, what do you call it? not only blizzard are affected by um, by the freedom of speech movement um riot epic right, and yeah, also so. uh, apple and also the nba are under hot fi- uh, hot uh, dis- 
uh, what do you call? Uh, what do you call? This under view. this, yeah, they're under how this view by the general public because of mm. their censorship uh, in regards to any mentioning of the topic, uh, topic, uh, outside of the field of games. So the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, before you, uh, what what we would like to, uh, we we both of us would like to highlight is that yes. never always um go to a conclusion <coughs> without reading into the topic, especially when it regards to gaming, because what uh, what um what we find in uh what uh, what we find when looking into this topic and also trying to bring awareness towards uh for you always to listen is that uh it is always. Uh, the first, the first top upvoted or also top, uh, top liked or something uh, comment is always about. Uh, we must, we must, take we action. must take action. We must, uh, we must boycott this company because they do not believe in democracy. Because it's it's such a uh, so easy to to link uh, to link a situation to uh, straight away to a company being yes. not uh, not supporting of a cause. Yes. Uh, if you look into it, you cannot. Uh, as you can just assume they they mm. just uh they just want to pick one side, mm. but there's more than with the eye or something like that. Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah, true. That's uh, and what's important is because if if the game uh, if game companies, for example, have to uh, have to make a decision on where they stand, um, people have to uh, be all also open to accepting their own yes. different uh, different stance of the uh, but not uh, but um, stance on a political issue. But if you be, but that is also due to them trying to force the uh, force the discussion into into a, a genre where the discussion should not be. Right. So that's what we uh, we we, uh, we looked into on the reg on regards to the topic of the blizzard, uh, incoming. the blizzard incoming topic. That's the uh, that's our uh, <laughs> because I I find it very uh, because it's such a big piece uh, talk, talked upon during the week. Uh, we couldn't, we couldn't uh, skip it. Uh, we couldn't like not not talk not about, talk about it. it. Uh, so probably uh, something for you guys to know, and mm. uh, it's it's kind of interesting. Mm. So uh, yeah, we we had we had quite a serious deep dive just now. Mm. So uh, if you want to dig dig deeper, you can dig deeper. <laughs> <laughs> so on a lighter note, ladies yes. and gentlemen, always make sure to read beyond the headlines and yes. always uh, always verify what you what you look. Especially online, where people uh, where opinions may overlap with what the facts are, tro uh, are thrown out. So we brought to you a little bit of the facts. Make right. sure you look into it uh, before you do tweet hashtag boycott blizzard. We're not asking you to uh, to pick a side, but I will. Uh, we both well, wish but, uh, you to always find out uh, the reason behind something. Yes. So yeah, I think that's it. That's uh, deep dives for it, us, and it's going to be a much shorter show from from last time, which yeah. we we spent over two hours with our guests. But this time, we're gonna yeah, cut it a bit short. And it's uh, so it has been, uh, what one hour, a good, a good one hour and thirty minutes and with you guys, and that's about uh, uh, that's all about today our show. Uh, for we had one good uh, two parts of today's show, uh, which we had a lot of good time discussing yeah. with you. It's generally me talking about uh, uh me <laughs> and Afif talking about uh, so, talking about one issue, one big issue in our deep dives today. And I hope y'all get something at the very least from it. And that is all from us. Yep, for the third episode so. of Mom's Basement. And I'm DJ. Ah, uh, so catch us still catch us live next week. We're coming back next week. Every yes. Wednesday, Every eight Wednesday. to ten, same place, same time. You can get it on Periscope probably yeah. next week. Gonna have an uh, uh, exciting guest, an exciting guest to bring on for the show. So that has been me, Fifty uh, DJ Azad and DJ Afif signing out. Thank you very much for for listening. Listen. See you next week. See you next week.